Hi all, in this video we will see one scenario based intervention. The question is this, uh, there, is, there, there is a workflow having three session in, sessions in it, A after that B after that C and uh, the condition is we want session C to be executed only after 12 successful completions of session B. How would we do that? So we will execute this particular scenario, only thing is instead of 12 successful run, we will reduce the run count to 3 because otherwise we will have to run this particular workflow for 12 times so we will keep it as 3 so after 3 successful completions of session B uh, session C has to get executed so let's see, we will start with uh, simple mapping our source as say, department table as always our target will be as staging draw it will be a simple mapping we will not keep any transformation in between so interview question other will be in this mapping to Target will be staging our office. So, we have done with the two mapping creations. Both mappings has to be in valid status. This is in valid status. One this is also in valid status. Okay, now, we will create one workflow and three sessions Row. 
So even the third mapping is in valid status, we will create corresponding session for it. Class create session s underscore session 3 select that third session third thing. So we have done with the session creation. Remaining task is to link these three tasks. One more thing we will do is we will just truncate the data by loading into the target. is in valid status we will just execute this workflow and we will see whether it's running fine or fine or not so session one session one got completed Session 2 got started. Even that got completed, and lastly, the session 3 got started. Even that got completed. So uh, now our condition is uh, we need to execute the session 3 only after 3 successful executions of session 2. So that means over here we have to add some condition which will verify the number of session counts or number of runs for session 2 so to store this number of runs we'll have, we should have one variable wherein we can store that value so let's create a workflow variable because over here we cannot have mapping variable or mapping parameter or even the session variable so only way to store that value run value is by creating the workflow variable so session to run now we'll keep the data type as integer and we'll keep this variable as a persistent so default value will give as zero save this and again now the variable which we have created that will validate over here so if the variable value is 3 just execute the session 3 so we have added the condition now we will run this workflow, let's see what happens. Session 1 is running. Session 1 got completed, session 2 got started. Session 2 also got completed. And workflow stopped. So that means session 3rd, third, 3rd session didn't got executed. We will verify the workflow log and let's see why the session 3 didn't got started. So session okay. So if you see in the workflow log, there it's showing that session one to session two empty expression string evaluated to two. True. So as we haven't added any any condition in between these two tasks, it by default evaluated as two, and session two simply got started at session two to session three it validated the condition which we have already given that is session 2 equal, session 2 run variable which we have got the variable which we have defined equal to 3 so that condition uh, resulted out into false so why it resulted out into false false because if you can see over here the workflow variable value is showing as a 0 which is default one so that means somehow 
workflow uh, work, uh, somehow informatic i haven't assigned any value to this workflow variable which we have created so our task is we have to assign this value we, we have to assign this uh, workflow run value successful workflow rather successful work, workflow run value to the workflow variable which we have created so that this very this condition can get evaluated so only way to assign value to a workflow variable at the workflow level is by creating a assignment task so we will create one assignment task So we will run this assignment task after session 2 and in this assignment task we will actually assign the value session run value so by default value which we have assigned to this workflow variable is 0 so as and when session runs value get incremented by 1 so over here we are assigning the value to the workflow variable which we have created and after that here we will actually verify the condition so if this value is 3 then you run the third third session. So we'll again start the workflow. Let's see what happens. First session got completed. Second session got started, even that got completed and even the assignment has got completed. We will see the workflow variable. Sorry, workflow log. down directly showing that now the workflow variable persisted value is 1 we will run this workflow again it will be for second time first session got completed second session got started even that got completed assignment has got started even that got completed we will again verify the persistent value of the workflow variable which we have created so now it's true and condition will get true when session this particular workflow variable value will be 3 so we will run the workflow again and we will see whether third session is getting executed or not first session got started second session got started it got completed yes now as workflow variable value became 3 condition condition between se session 2 and session 3 default uh, resulted into true and that's the reason even the third session got started so this is how we solved the problem. Thanks for watching this video.